To promote unity in community development and foster an inclusive governance in Odiolo Ojuwe Local Council Development Area, the Council Authority organized a community leaders and stakeholders meeting for social change to mark a significant milestone in community engagement and collective action for social transformation. The stakeholders meeting was held at the AS Bade Event Center, Nigerian Armed Forces Resettlement Center in Kappa, Oshudi, Lagos, in the presence of community leaders, political leaders, government officials, and various stakeholders to discuss vital social intervention programs and strategies for empowering local residents. Speaking at the event, Razak Ajala, the executive chairman of Odiolo Ojuwe LCDA, said his vision for inclusive governance will ensure all residents feel a sense of belonging to benefit from government initiatives. He also announced the launch of the Odiolo Ojuwe Cares Social Intervention Program, which aims to provide support to 3,000 vulnerable individuals, including the disabled, widows, and widowers. This program will be on board 3,000, I repeat it, 3,000 into Odiolo Ojuwe Social Intervention Program. And the program are for Arubo, two for the physical challenge, three for the widows, and we have another 1,000 that we call health insurance scheme for the vulnerable in various communities in Odiolo Ojuwe. Oba Odiolo Ojuwe, Oba Sikirulai and other dignitaries at the event emphasized the necessity for community residents to take charge of their own development. I was by the CDA and the community of Odoro in general. Not everything they will be waiting for the government for. A little thing within their community, they can easily do it. Everything is not by, everything is not by government. You have to have your own impact in the community. They should try and do something in the community, not all the time, government, government, government. The government, particularly this our chairman, should continue doing what is doing. Like I told him privately, I say you have raised the bar. I told him he has raised the bar. That he's living, he's living a life that when he lives, they will still continue to remember him. That whoever is going to hand over for, you should talk to them seriously. CDA is the building block of any society. So we need to let them know the importance of the connection between what the government intends to do for the people and what the people are supposed to do in terms of their relevance, the importance, as well as letting the population know how government works. If you talk about health program, if you take the ownership, you make use of it. So maybe they will tell them the home and regular staff free of charge, they will refuse to. But if they believe this is their program, they go there, make use of it. The government do, if they are paying for another hospital, the money will not be wasteful. Even with this role, they should believe and take the ownership. And that's the key, you know, that's what I told them. They should make sure they take good ownership of what is happening here today. That's why I appeal to them, you should take ownership of this baby. Of the government's facilities in their location, in their, in their local, local area. It means it's their own. They should own it. The, the road, pipe and water, street lights, PSC, hospital, and what are you? All government projects within their locality should be owned by the government. Razak Ajala, in an interview, encouraged community members to take ownership of the program, emphasizing that it should not be viewed merely as a government initiative. For the 
people of the various community to take ownership of the, uh, of the project being executed on their behalf and to see themselves as part and parcel of our system and to use the instrumentality of the advantage position to ensure they put everyone they voted for on their toe so that they can continue to do the needful and right. Because that's the only thing we can do if truly we want a Nigeria that works for all. Oh,